Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. My name's Jamie, I'm from Morgan's Games. Today we're doing an unboxing video. First things first, the box is in a very, very bad state. It's very, very crushed, but in saying that, there's nothing in this part of the box anyway, but as long as this bit's fine, we should be good to go. And this contains Xeno Crisis, which came out in late 2019 by the Big Mac Vuru after a successful Kickstarter. Released for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Microsoft Windows, Sega Genesis, Linux, Mac OS, and Macintosh operating system. Now, I don't have a large quantity of Mega Drive games at home, but I've gone for the Sega Genesis version, which cost me £55. Now I have seen this game being streamed on a few other people's channels, it looks very very good actually, really good, I love the music to it, and it does remind me a little bit like Smash TV, but anyway Jamie, enough chit chat, let's open this crushed box. There we go, absolutely superb, love the artwork to it, there we go, 16-bit, Big Mac Brew, Zeno Crisis, one or two per game, 16-bit cartridge, and it also came with a free postcard, amazing, brilliant, there we go, you're playing this very, very soon, Zeno Crisis is an area shooter in which up to two players enter a ravaged research colony to confront an alien menace and get out alive, run and gun your way through thousands of adversaries as you search for the source of the deadly alien outbreak. There we go. There we go. Absolutely superb. There we go. How cool is that? Cartridge is still being made and released in late 2019 and being bought by me in 2020. There we go. And there's the manual. There we go. Front and back. Superb. There we go. Contents. Introduction, how to play, controls, the marines, enemies, weapons, equipment, pickups, hostages, areas, and advanced play. Absolutely superb. Cannot wait to play it. Introduction. How to play. We're doing that very, very soon. Now you can do three button controls or six button controller. Unfortunately, I don't have a six button controller. Not yet, anyway. The marines. Name, John Marsh, age 32 and Sarah Ridley, age 27. Enemies. Can we deal with a lot of those? And shooting with a lot of those. Oh my lord. Equipment. A lot to learn, a lot to see, a lot to do. Pickups, hostages. Superb. And there's the areas. Right, six levels. We have the perimeter, the facility, the forest, and the lab. Where's three and four? Where's three and four? I seem to be missing a page. Right, for some reason, three and four is not in the book. The advanced play, the melee attack, the roll cancel, the roll attack, and the discard weapon. Right, there we go. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? Commander Darius, I have a code red distress signal from Outpost 88. We have no time to lose, Lieutenant. Dispatch a squad of our finest marines. That's me. <laughs> Buckle up, meatheads. Prepare for hyper boost. Approaching now, sir. I have a bad feeling about this. Xeno Crisis, copyright 2019, the Big Mac Bureau Limited. Okay, select your marine, and this character will allow you to have more ammo, whereas this character will allow you to have more speed. I'm gonna go for this character here. Okay, this is another game, this is Xeno Crisis on the Mega Drive. Xeno Crisis is a top down arena shooter for one or two players. After choosing your preferred marines, you see them leave the dropship and enter the colony through an airlock. In order to progress, you must clear all rooms of all enemies. This is area 1, this is the perimeter. The outpost 88 is divided into 7 arenas, each being randomly generated with each play. Collect dog tags from vanquished enemies and upgrade your equipment in between areas and look out for special weapons which give you momentary advantage. Right, these enemies are called Arcanids. These scavengers rely on their sense of smell to hunt down their prey and can usually be found in large groups. 
kill all the enemies, the guy will tell you it's clear, and he'll get arrows. Head to the arrow. Right, this is called a nemesis. A large blob that seems harmless, but after a few seconds, it explodes and releases its contents. Nasty. Now this game is tremendous. Really good, but you're definitely going to be running out of bullets quite a lot in this game. All weapons in this game have been bullets. Now when you kill enemies, you get anything from dog tags to bullets to additional weapons. Right, these eggs are called overlumbers. These pose as no threat until disturbed and they will release a worm-like creature. Right, there we go. Also, best few hostages. I've got lots of six brand new about this game. There's a lot going on, but it's very much like Smash TV and Total Carnage. The moment I've run out of bullets. Bullets. There we go. It tells you above your head how many you've got. And when you hold the fire button down, you can shoot in the direction you're facing. Now A forms an invasive roll, B fires your current weapon, and C throws a grenade, which is also limited. And enemies will also come out the ground. Right, these ones are called Xenoids. These are tough, speedy, and aggressive, and will always go straight for the player on sight. Right, mad bullets again. Now you can actually attack them up close, which is good if you've run out of bullets, or if you're running low on bullets. But luckily, there's no time limit here. Right, pick up that, we need it. There we go. Right, we have five lives. So it'll tell you when you enter a room, or if you take a hit, it will upgrade you. It'll also tell you how many dog tags you have as well. At the end of the level, you can upgrade your abilities. Right, weapons! Go on to weapons now. The Assault Rifle, a marine standard weapon which is capable of rapid fire. Spread shot, it's 45 degrees spread, makes it particularly effective when dealing with multiple weaker enemies. Laser, can pierce through alien flesh and even through the walls. Homing, inflicts a moderate amount of damage but homes in on nearby enemies. Right, that will replenish one of your lives. A big one will replenish all of it. Whether it's lights or energy, whatever the case may be, it helps. Right, kill that thing, spread in four directions. Uh, flamethrower. Uh, a strong but short range weapon, they always are. Rebound. This unconventional weapon can hit enemies, hit them behind walls or out of your sight. Shotgun. This has the shortest range but it's devastating up close. Right, I took a hit there. We'll take too many. Then we get to the end of the level, there's a boss battle. Alright, I'm out of bullets again. Tremendous game. Love it. Very tough though. Alright, got 21 dog tanks. We're using that very, very soon. Room is clear. Right, the Vulcan. Decimates anything that stands in your way. Rocket launcher, possibly the most devastating weapon, but has a slow range of fire. And the BFG. It takes time to charge, but launches a single blast of plasma which kills multiple enemies. A bit like Doom! Right, boss battle. His energy is at the top of the screen, and it's a lot. This one's not too bad until he starts throwing out evil enemies, which take, which take loads to kill. But you're always going to be run out of bullets. This is so big, it's very hard to not actually hit him. Just are fine down, of course. Right, it's gonna hit there. Have a grenade. And as it progresses, it fires more bullets at you. But look, Jamie, don't forget you do have that wall. It's good. It's fantastic. You have a lot of danger. They also do get continues in this game as well. Yeah, but lucky there's some nearby. Yeah, boom and pow! Have some of that. Still got more cystics. But there we go, that'll do for now. That is area clear. That was called a shimmer. Oh, rank B, score 34,050 points. There we go. Engaged alien hostiles and took care of their little friend. He was not a little friend, he was huge. Now proceeding to the facility. Okay, this is where we increase our skills. Okay, but everything costs a price. We have 22 dog tags. Now, I think the best way to go is increasing your power of your weapons. So, I'm going to focus on that. 
Now, number one, which is good, is your speed. Now, if you're playing as the female, she is faster than the male. But the male can hold more bullets. But we're going to go for more, more speed. Uh, and that's all I can buy. Okay, area two is the facility. Ensuring your ammo doesn't run out is crucial for your survival, but your... You can always attack the enemy at close quarters with the butt of your rifle. Contact with your enemy projectile will result in taking damage. Losing all of your health means the game is over. But in two-player mode, you have limited time when you arrive your fallen comrades. Alright, don't run out of bullets. 125. We must upgrade the amount of bullets we can take. Right, five lights. Hit them as soon as they enter the door, the door because the more you progress into this game, the more they shoot, and the accuracy is good. I can't shoot anything at the moment. Who is clear? Off we go. Let's get the hostages. The best I've done is level three. The boss battle on this one is not as difficult as the one before. Drop attacks. 14. Shotgun is okay, but only at close range. At the end of each area is the area's boss. Advance through all seven of the game's levels, and you finally confront the source with all these troubles, and be prepared for the fight of your life. Right, we need some energy. I tend to save the grenades for boss battles, unless it turns really nasty. But you can use that roll to get yourself out of different situations. Right, energy is maxed out. Go. Room is clear. Right, items. The medikit restores a single unit of health. The medikit plus restores you to full health. Bug tabs. Collect these from bankers of foes and trade them at the end of the level to improve your equipment. Ammo. Complete your field with your assault rifle's ammo. Security card. Required to open certain doors in the colony. Right, on we go. The door is open, because we have the card to do so. Open up and shoot! Keep topping up that energy. Keep topping up the ammo. Three form comrades there for previous attempts. Again, shotgun isn't fantastic, but at close range it is. And he's only dropping from the ceiling now. Room is clear, on we go. Right, boss battle. This is the Death Viper. Watch out, I am. It's like an extreme game of Snake. Right, you've got to shoot him in the face. That's his weakness. Now, he's definitely not as bad as the one before, and he's definitely not as big as the one before, but he shoots in four directions at the moment, but later on he fires more. And because it's a lot smaller, this enemy, shoot from a much further distance. But again, you will be moving all, all the time. Have a grenade. Right. He's almost dead already. Superb! There we go, have some of that! I got an A for that one! You destroyed the Death Viper! There we go, we interrogated one of the locals and discovered the location of the alien nest. Time to head outside. Okay, I got 24 this time. Let's increase our health limit. And we'll go for... We'll go to increase your ammo limit. And again. There we go. Okay, level three is the June. Okay, let's go for the upgrades now, shall we? But these are actually coming out the ground. So this could be difficult. Now this is a level I've not got past. They can only shoot them when they are actually out of the ground. It is not very often, but when they do, they shoot at you. That bullets. They're on the ground, that's wasting bullets. Right? Okay, we have the health boost. Increase your maximum health by one. Weapon power improves, improves your weapon's power, including any weapon you pick up. Increase ammo capacity. Increases your assault rifle's ammo capacity. Ugh! Right, 170. Now my weapon, my gun does actually take more bullets now. 
But again, you need to be on the move all the time. But that's the same with any weapon you pick up. It's definitely a level you definitely want to have more bullets. I'm out of bullets. It's fine, only one's on the screen. Right, if you throw his head out of the ground and then go for the kill. It was clear. Right, we also have increased grenade capacity. It gives you the potential to carry an extra grenade. Grenade power gives you makes your grenade more powerful and increases its range. Speed up gives you fast running and faster, more distance rolling. Right, laser. I think this is probably the best one. That and the Vulcan. We won't kill him on the ground, Jamie. Now, I've never actually seen the boss battle on this one. You can go through enemies like knife and butter. Room is clear. Right, the gas mask. Protect yourself from toxic gas. That I've not seen yet. Right, got ten bullets. Oh, right, sorry, no, that was ten on that current weapon. I think the weapons work on time, not actually amount of bullets, so it's timed. Right. Jimmy, you haven't used that roll yet, don't forget you have it. Now also, you get the elixir. Uh, when taken, you'll be instantly revived, allowing you to continue your mission. Now that is the most expensive, it costs about 30 dog tags. You a lot of money to do that. Dog tags in this case. This one's not too bad, but while you keep moving, we're not underground, they won't fire at you. So that gives you a bit of time to get to a safe distance or pick up additional ammo or life, whatever the case may be. Right, on the go. Let's get the hostages. They're also falling into the sky! Right, they can't harm you when they're on the ground. Right, again, we have grenades, I'm going to save them for the difficult times ahead. Oh lord, how far did he throw that? Right, one life remaining, and I'm a dead man. What was that? Where did he kill me? Medic hit? Yes. Oh, right, that's the toxic gas. Right, I think that is actually the toxic gas. I'm assuming. Oh my lord. Look at that thing, it's causing an issue. So much to look out for. So many bullets. Where'd you look? Right, who's this? Alright, so there's no actual boss battle there. You found the airlock, rank E. We discovered the airlock, which leads us to the alien nest. Let's crash their party. Okay, what are we going for this time? Let's go for... Well, power's maxed out. Increase our health, I guess. That's maxed out. Uh, speed. That's maxed out. Um, increase our grenade power. Why not? Let's go for it. Area 4 is the nest. Oh my lord, they're gonna be fast, okay. But my weapons are maxed out, my speed is maxed out, and so is my capacity of bullets. Is maxed out. What is that thing? Do I get that? Yes I do. Right, enemies are definitely getting faster. A lot faster. Okay, Era 4 boss. Okay, see how we do. Never seen this one before. Oh, we have these gems. Oh. 
so far so good. I'm sure there's going to be a twist this tail. It always is. Can't be this straightforward, surely. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Right, okay, it's more like it. Right, this thing's... yeah. Mind you, I've got lots of grenades up my sleeve. No, I don't. I had one. I didn't realize I used that many. But there's more! There's more! I need bullets! Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! Okay, it's more difficult than I expected. So I'm guessing for each gem, possibly. It's a different phase. And don't forget, you do have that roll. Well, let's really those. Ah, oh, you see? Game over. Game over. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's see my video. That is Xeno Crisis. I'm really, really pleased with it. Tremendous game by the Bitmap Guru. And this is Jamie from all of games. Please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe to my channel, Facebook fan page, or Instagram, or on Twitch. Just type in more of games, you find it fairly easily. And please remember to click on the bell icon that will notify you of any videos at Low Fan Tactic when we do YouTube videos. And if Retro Long Plays that cheats, have a beat making and live streams every Friday night from the time time. Thanks a lot. I like the week. Till next time, do it easy. Ciao, bye. See ya. Okay, so the game, this is Xeno Crisis. Xeno Crisis is a top down area. Shoot them up for, the, for one or two player. Play it. Xeno Crisis is a top down area. Now shoot them up by. Jamie, you're making too many mistakes already. Too many. We haven't fired a single bullet yet. Each being randomly generated after. Uh, each being randomly generated with each play. Look, collect dog tags to. Now you have limited bullets. That is one of the problems with this guy. You've got to be quite. Yeah, you've got to be careful with that one. You want to be like. Uh, uh, in order to progress, you must clear each room of the enemies. Outpost 88 is the front. Jamie, you pressed the wrong button. A is roll, B is shoot. Don't roll into the enemy. Utter Wally. After choosing your preferred marines, you will see them leave the dropship and enter the colonies through the airlock. Uh, that's wrong as well. Uh, uh. Outpost 88 is divided into seven arenas, each being randomly. Jamie did it again! Stop rolling into the enemies! Right. A is roll. B is fire. Jamie, just think of it as this, it's the middle button. The middle button is yes. 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 Outpost 88 is divided into seven arenas, each being randomly generated with each play. Jamie, you did it again, didn't you? You rolled into them. Am I going to have to put a label on this pad to say, Jamie, don't roll into the enemy. That is A. Shoot is B. Now these are called Arcanids. These scavengers rely on their sense of smell to hunt you down. Hunt, no, Jamie, hunt down their prey. Not hunt you down their prey. They don't hunt you down and prey. They hunt down their prey. Now this game is very much similar to Crash TV. Crash TV? Smash TV. Jamie, you just made up a game there. Crash TV doesn't exist. Smash TV does. Right, let's start again. It's not even green, it's yellow. Huh. Oh. Yeah. oh, this box got to go away. It just did, but too late. Oh. Uh. oh, I'm sick of my mouth. 